When most people heard the term variants and mutants, they quickly started thinking in X-Men, etc. I think it led to a lot of people having almost fatalistic thoughts about the whole process, which is we're headed for disaster. But the truth is viruses mutate all the time. Often it doesn't matter about these rogue changes because it doesn't change the way the virus behaves. But every once in a while, we will have one that's a little bit stronger. And that could cause havoc. If sage scientists or a professor express some sort of worry about a particular variant, then we call it... A variant of concern. A variant of concern. Variants of concern. You're probably wondering why all this matters. There's no mystique here. When a virus gets inside a host and begins to infect cells, it makes copies of itself so it can spread, like dominoes. Thousands of copies are made at a time. Hence the term going viral, right? And so a virus has to replicate very quickly. And the pressure to replicate quickly means that you can make mistakes. These errors are genetic mutations. Over time, these genetic mutations can lead to other changes. Most of these gentle changes do nothing. Sometimes they can even be to the disadvantage of the virus. But sometimes they alter the way the virus behaves, making it easier for it to survive. Key thing is, the longer a virus is out there spreading from person to person, the more variants you're going to get. In case the worst happens, scientists are looking at tweaking vaccines to make sure they continue to offer high protection against COVID-19. But doing that takes time. And what we do know for sure is that the more a virus is allowed to go on the warpath, the more likely it is that a variant will spike up, which stops vaccines from working. But we have control over that in many ways. Washing hands, wearing masks, um, practicing physical distancing as much as possible, but also getting our immunization. 